Hi, I'm Tommy Bow, and you're watching Ulster Rugby's Introduction to Rugby video. Each team has 15 players, which are made up of 8 forwards and 7 backs. Forwards are generally involved in physical contests with the opposition. The objective is to win possession of the ball and to move forward with the ball towards the opposition try line. The forward pack is made up of the front row, second row and back row. They are generally the large and strong members of the team. Backs are generally positioned in open spaces on the pitch and will look to pass and to run to take advantage of where the space exists. Backs are generally smaller and quicker members of the team. A try is the most valuable form of scoring and is worth 5 points. A try is scored by placing the ball on the ground beyond the try lines, located at either end of the pitch. When a try is scored, the scoring team will have the opportunity to kick a conversion, which will add a further 2 points to their score. The conversion is taken in a straight line back from where the ball was grounded. Points can also be scored when a team has been awarded a penalty. The team may opt to kick the ball at the post from where the infringement took place. A successful penalty kick, which goes between the posts and over the bar, is worth 3 points. Teams can also choose to tap the ball and run, or kick into touch to gain territory. Whenever a team has scored, the opposition is required to restart the game with a drop kick from the halfway line. If the kick is missed, the game will restart with a drop kick from the 22 metre line. A knock-on is when the ball is dropped forward from a pass, in a tackle or from a kick. If a team in possession knocks the ball on, the opposition will gain possession in the form of a scrum. The team in possession must pass the ball in a backwards motion. If the ball is passed forward, it will result in a scrum for the opposition. When the attacking player is tackled, he must release the ball, preferably towards his teammates to allow a contest to begin. Players who fail to release the ball while lying on the ground will concede a penalty. When the ball is in play, it is the responsibility of the players to remain behind the ball on their own team side. Players will be ruled offside if they fail to do this and the opposition will be awarded a penalty. Players can kick the ball to clear danger in their own half or kick for territory to pressurise the opposition. A scrum is awarded for minor offences such as a knock-on or a forward pass. The scrum involves all eight forwards engaged in a physical contest for the ball. The scrum half puts the ball into the centre of the scrum and the contest is not over until the ball re-emerges from the back of the scrum. A line-out takes place when the ball leaves the field of play along the touchlines. The line-out generally involves forwards and must involve equal numbers from both teams. An attacking player must throw the ball straight down the middle with both teams contesting for the ball in the air. The line-out is not over until the ball is released. Players with the ball can be stopped from moving forward by a tackle. A tackle involves a defensive player making contact with the attacker using their shoulders and arms and bringing them to ground. Dangerous tackles will result in the offending player receiving a red card and being removed from the pitch. When a player is tackled to the ground, opposing players can test for the ball in what is known as a ruck. Thank you for watching. We'll hopefully see you at a game sometime soon.